Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jana Shedlovska. I'm docent in the Department of Information Technology and Computer Engineering in Dnipro University of Technology. Our work is devoted to identification of objects on the satellite images using image texture properties. Today, uh, due to modern satellite, it is possible to obtain high quality images of uh, the Earth's surface. The remote sensing data are widely used in different uh, areas of human activity. Especially this data is uh, important uh, in agriculture. One of the urgent tasks uh, of remote sensing data processing is uh, the counting of trees in plantations. Orchards and uh, tree plantations can cover huge areas and have uh, thousands of units. So the a task of uh, harvest estimation and uh, tree counting is very important. Due to satellite images, it is possible to create an effective automatic system of uh, counting trees in plantation. Now, to solve current problem, it is necessary to choose effective methods of processing and analyzing data obtained by means of remote sensing. Uh, this task uh, can be divided into two parts. First, the ident identification of areas of Earth's surface that uh, correspond to, to agricultural plantations. And second, the identification of individual objects in the selected area of the image for purpose of uh, counting them. Uh, modern satellites uh, are able to provide uh, high resolution imagery. Uh, the data are captured in a wide range, range of electromagnetic spectrum and uh, the presence of uh, infrared and uh, near and infrared bands in data is make uh, it possible to assess the state and stages of uh, harvest to determine the type uh, of vegetation and uh, distinguish vegetation from another objects in image. Uh, analysis of uh, a number of satellite images and aerial photographs has shown that uh, each image contains several types of land cover, which can be characterized by their spectral and textural properties. In this slide, uh, the fragment of a satellite image is shown and uh, the result of its uh, segmentation of, on the basis on uh, spectral uh, characteristics. Uh, the result of uh, segmentation uh, based on the spectral characteristics showed uh, that it is impossible to distinguish areas uh, with a uniform texture using only uh, spectral characteristics. So in our work, the textural characteristics of the image uh, were used. Uh, the next uh, step was the uh, calcula calculation of texture properties. The high level uh, co-occurrence matrix was used. It uh, allows uh, us to take into account uh, the relative position of the pixels of the image and to analyze the texture with uh, pronounced uh, spatial regularity. Uh, based on the calculated high level co-occurrence, uh, the following uh, textural features uh, were calculated. Um, uh, the multi-scale uh, segmentation of an image uh, based on the calculated texture properties was used uh, in this work to select uh, areas of the image corresponding to a specific texture. A uh, figure shows the result of segmentation of the satellite image based on its uh, textural features. Uh, this is a right figure or, or left figure. 
and uh, the segment belonging to the texture corresponding to a plantation of trees are separated using supervised classification methods. Uh, this is uh, the result of uh, plantation of the tree identification shown in uh, right figure. When the regions of an image corresponding to a certain texture is found, it is possible to count the structural elements that make it. This paper proposes an algorithm for uh, counting objects in satellite images. The algorithm consists uh, in uh, selecting individual objects that uh, create a texture based on their spectral characteristics. Uh, the proposed algorithm consists uh, of the following steps. Um, uh, several high spatial resolution images with plantation of different type of uh, trees were investigated. Uh, due to uh, spectral characteristics, uh, the individual trees are easily distinguished from the rest of the image pixels. Uh, for these uh, purposes, the different spectral characteristics uh, can be used, for example, uh, vegetation indexes. Uh, in this slide, the calculation of uh, vegetation index is shown. Uh, after index calculation using the method of automatic histogram splitting, it is possible to distinguish objects with a high index value, which uh, corresponds to trees. Uh, the, the results uh, show that in some images, uh, the value of uh, spectral features is uh, too high in the entire area corresponding to the tree plantation. In this case, the histogram of the image is uh, shifted from the center as uh, shown in the uh, right bottom figure. And this uh, leads to impossibility of distinguishing the objects uh, that correspond to the trees using uh, histogram thresholding. In this case, uh, it is possible to use another spectral characteristics uh, such as in DVI shadow index. Uh, in this slide, the results of spectral index calculation is shown, and the result of uh, its histogram splitting. As a result, we obtain the binary mask of individual objects, and uh, uh, by the method of uh, connected, connected components uh, calculation, we can estimate the number of individual objects that uh, form the texture. And the conclusions. Uh, our work uh, uh, was devoted to processing satellite images of high spatial resolution based on its uh, texture characteristics. Um, it uh, helped uh, to identify areas of the earth through agricultural plantation in uh, and count the number of trees in uh, these uh, areas. Uh, the uh, actual number of trees was calculated on the uh, studied samples and compared uh, with the results of the algorithm, the obtained uh, results show a significant accuracy of calculation. Uh, thank you for your attention.